Hello Scrappers, this is Lorraine from Card Creations and I have a wonderful card to share with you today. I'm so excited. It um, is a pocket card and it has a little belly band that you slide off like this and when you open it up you have three pockets and uh, I thought this would be great for a Mother's Day card. You can add a, a gift card to the center and then write messages on, on each side. And then you just fold it back up and put the band back on. Slide it on and it keeps it all together. So I'll show you how to how to make that. We'll get started with uh, an eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock, and then you'll cut it in half, and then you you'll score it at uh, four inches, and then you'll fold it over like this. Okay, and then uh, we'll go ahead and start with the um, the matting of the card. I have a piece of pink cardstock, and this is cut at eight and a quarter by three and three quarters. And we'll adhere that to the inside of our card. And I'm going to put extra adhesive on it since it's going to have quite a bit of stuff on the on the front of it. So I'll go ahead and center that. It about there. Okay. And then I've got a mat for this little flap also. And I cut that out in green. And this paper is real shiny and it's got a pretty texture on it. And let's see, this uh, mat was cut at one and three eighths by eight and a quarter. Okay, I'm just going to open that like this so it'll lay flat and I can get it just right. <clears throat> go. Okay, now the way I made my pockets, I uh, purchased these little uh, paper sacks at, Michael, at Michael's. You get 25 and I think they were 250 And um, what I did is I have three bags and let's see, the bags I cut off um, part of the top and so the size of the bag this way is three and a half inches and this is what it looked like before I cut so you just cut that little bit off so but your uh, cut bag is three and a half inches and then uh, what I've done is um, I'm flip this over because I've already uh, added my little mats to two of the bags and uh, the mat for the bags is three and a quarter by two and a quarter and I'll go ahead and just add my last little piece I've already added adhesive I'm just gonna I want all the bottom um, of my mat to all be even so I'm just gonna measure it using one of the ones that I've already added the mat to make sure they're all even move it over just a little bit okay now the center uh, bag I'm using a coordinating paper that I used for the mat of the card um, after making my first card I didn't have quite enough but uh, this will be just fine I like the the pink in the center Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and, and attach our bags. And I'm going to put all around uh, some uh, adhesive around the bag and then down the center again since it's going to have a tag. You don't want uh, your bag to fall off. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to one side. And then um, 
my other bag. Make sure, oh gosh, I hope, yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought maybe I had put it upside down. But the strawberries are going the right way. Okay, and I'm going to put the one on the far right next, and then I'll center the one that goes in the middle. Let's see. Looks about right along there. Okay, and I'll put this here. One more. There we go. Okay. There we have that. Now the next thing we're going to do is uh, go ahead and make our belly band. And I got a piece of uh, cardstock and it's uh, 12 inches long. And I want to make sure I have enough to wrap around the card. Um, and it's better to make it a little longer and then uh, add it and cut what you're not going to use off. So what I'm going to do is put the seam in the front and I want it to be just uh, in between this flap and the back of the card. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right about like that and then fold it over. And bring this up, and there's our band. I'm gonna head, go ahead and cut some of it off. There, and then I'm gonna add uh, some adhesive onto that little strip right there. I've measured kind of like where I need to put the adhesive, how far up. And that'll go about there. Okay, and uh, now for your uh, little embellishments like the first card I made I added strawberries but if you wanted to make like a Mother's Day card uh, maybe you can make some of my ribbon roses and add a rose to the center I have some red ones that I've made also that uh, would look pretty maybe make put three three of them I only have two right now because I've mailed the ones that I had uh, to my ribbon rose winner totally purple Anyway, that's another idea, but we're going to go ahead and stick to the strawberries. I'll go ahead and put the one in the center, and I'll just run some adhesive across the the top. Or, excuse me, across the center. I was thinking about um, how I made the the belly band. I used um, this Martha Stewart punch, and uh, I punched one one side, and then I cut my paper. Uh, and then flipped it and did the other side. It all depends on uh, how far you want your center uh, strip, um, how, how wide you want your center strip. So here's another one that I did and it was uh, very tiny in the center. This one's a little bit wider. figured this would be a little bit sturdier and uh, I would be able to adhere the strawberry to that. So just play around with it and then you can kind of measure how um, your punches are going to work for doing a belly band. If you don't want to do a scalloped edge on the belly band, just do uh, a regular cut like this and then you can just wrap it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do the other two strawberries and I'm just going to put adhesive on half of the strawberry, the, the upper portion of it. And this is so cute because they're hanging down onto uh, the little little bags. Okay. All right. We'll go ahead and add that there. Okay. And for the inside, go ahead and remove my band. I cut these three tags. Uh, and I cut, I used the uh, tags, bags, boxes, and more, and then I actually just uh, scored a line at the top so that this can fold over. And I gotta go quickly now because I only have a few seconds left. 
and there we go. Thanks for watching.